It is no secret that feature-wise iOS lags behind Android. Sure, iOS 14 brings many improvements over the years, including better home screen customization, new widgets for iOS 14, and many more, but still lacks some basic features. For example, iPhone doesn't have app lock. A lot of apps these days, like WhatsApp, offers pre-built app lock, but it will be better if Apple integrates this feature natively, allowing us to lock any app we want. So hey guys, my name is Kashif and here in this video, I'm going to show you how you can lock any apps in iPhone or iOS 14. There will be two methods and the first method is screen time app lock. If you want to use a passcode to lock your iPhone apps, here what you need to do. Bear in mind that since Apple do not offer an app locking mechanism, this method is a workaround, but it works rather well. So first go to settings, then screen time on your iPhone and set up a screen time passcode. You can also choose to enable touch ID or face ID at this point. Now tap on add limits and then on add limit. Select the app you want to lock by tapping on the category and then selecting the app. For example, let's say I want to lock Snapchat. To do this, I will tap on social category and then select Snapchat. Tap next and set the limit to one minute and tap add. At the top right corner, make sure the toggle next to block at the end of the limit is turned on. Your selected app will lock after 1 minute of use. 1 minute is barely anything for apps that you open multiple times in a day, such as in my case Instagram. So this method is pretty much decent to lock apps. Once the app is locked, you will need to enter the screen time password to access it. Please note that the passcode which we enter in screen time will be different from your iPhone passcode. Now the second method is locking the apps using Siri shortcuts. Alternatively, you can also lock the iPhone apps using Siri shortcuts, plus you can do some fun tricks with them as well. So step one is open the shortcuts on your iPhone and create new shortcut. Tap on add action, search, ask for input and select it. You can choose between text, numbers, URL and more. For example, I will use number as the input. Also add a prompt for the passcode by tapping on prompt and typing in anything you want. Now add another action, search for if and add it to your shortcut, tap on condition and choose is. Now again tap on number in the first action and type in the password you want. For this example, I am using 1234 as the password. You should not use such weak passwords. Now we have set up the basic groundwork for locking an app. Let's move on and finish things off. Add new open app action to shortcut and drag it between if and otherwise blocks. Now choose the app you want to lock. For the sake of this tutorial, I will go with the calculator app. And voila, this settings is workable. What will happen now is that shortcut will prompt us for the password and if we enter the correct password, which is 1234, it will open the calculator, otherwise it will not do anything. But that's not interesting, right? If someone is trying to open your secret calculator app, we ought to know who committed this. So let's add this trap. So what have we done here is, if someone enters the wrong password, your iPhone will click a picture from the front camera and save that picture into your recent library. Now you can see who tried to open your secret calculator app. Add another action to your shortcut and search for take photo and change back camera to front camera. Now tap on show more and disable the show camera preview toggle. Now drag this action between the otherwise and if block. Next add the save to photo album action to shortcut and drag it below the take photo block. So what have we done here is, if someone enters the wrong password, your iPhone will click a picture from the front camera and save that picture into your recent library. Now you can see who tried to open your secret calculator app. Our shortcut is almost complete now. All we need to do is replace the app icon with shortcut and place it into your home screen. Let's do it right now. So tap on next at the top right and give your shortcut a name. I'm naming it Ninja. 
Once you have set the name, tap on done. Open the shortcut from your shortcut gallery and tap the three dots icon. Here select the add to home screen option. Set the name of the shortcut to name of your app you have logged like calculator in this case and change the icon to a calculator icon. You can use anything here but I would recommend using a similar icon to make the trap more conveniencing. Tap on add to see the shortcut appear on your home screen. Whenever you tap on this shortcut it will ask you for the password. Simply enter your password to open the app. If you enter an incorrect password, the shortcut will take a picture and save it to your photos app. Neat, right? Plus, you must remove the actual app from your home screen and replace it with your shortcut. So anyone trying to snoop your iPhone will launch the shortcut after all, we all know someone or other is trying to sneak into our iPhone. So do you think Apple needs to bring native app for the lock app? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.